ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮ ਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਔਨ ਅੰਗ 558 ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਬਾਈ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਇਨ ਵਰਹੰਸ ਰਾਗ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਵਰਹੰਸ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਤੀਜਾ ਘਰ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਇੱਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ ਸਤ ਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਮਨ ਮੈਲੈ ਸਭ ਕਿਛ ਮੈਲਾ ਤਨ ਧੋਤੈ ਮਨ ਹੱਛਾ ਨਾ ਹੋਏ ਇਹ ਜਗਤ ਭਰਮ ਭੁਲਾਇਆ ਵਿਰਲਾ ਬੁਝੈ ਕੋਏ ਮਨ ਮੈਲੈ ਸਭ ਕਿਛ ਮੈਲਾ ਤਨ ਧੋਤੈ ਮਨ ਹੱਛਾ ਨਾ ਹੋਏ ਇਹ ਜਗਤ ਭਰਮ ਭੁਲਾਇਆ ਵਿਰਲਾ ਬੁਝੈ ਕੋਏ ਜਪ ਮਨ ਮੇਰੇ ਤੂੰ ਏਕੋ ਨਾਮ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਦੀਆ ਮੋਕਾਉ ਇਹੋ ਨਿਧਾਨ ਰਹਾਉ ਸਿੱਧਾ ਕੇ ਆਸਣ ਜੇ ਸਿਖੈ ਇੰਦਰੀ ਵਸ ਕਰ ਕਮਾਏ ਮਨ ਕੀ ਮੈਲ ਨ ਉਤਰੈ ਹਉ ਮੈਂ ਮੈਲ ਨ ਜਾਏ ਇਸ ਮਨ ਕੋ ਹੋਰ ਸੰਜਮ ਕੋ ਨਾਹੀ ਵਿਣ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਕੀ ਸਰਣ ਆਏ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਉਲਟੀ ਭਈ ਕਹਣਾ ਕਿਸ਼ੂ ਨਾ ਜਾਏ ਭਣਤ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਕੋ ਮਿਲ ਦੋ ਮਰੈ ਗੁਰ ਕੈ ਸਬਦ ਫਿਰ ਜੀਵੈ ਕੋਏ ਮਮਤਾ ਕੀ ਮਲ ਉਤਰੈ ਇਹੋ ਮਨ ਹੱਛਾ ਹੋਏ ਭਣਤ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਕੋ ਮਿਲ ਦੋ ਮਰੈ ਗੁਰ ਕੈ ਸਬਦ ਫਿਰ ਜੀਵੈ ਕੋਏ ਮਮਤਾ ਕੀ ਮਲ ਉਤਰੈ ਇਹੋ ਮਨ ਹੱਛਾ ਹੋਏ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਬਿਗਿਨ ਦ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਡੇ ਇਨ ਰਾਗ ਵਟਹੰਸ ਘਰ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਇਨ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਹਾਊਸ ਆਫ ਸੁਰੰਤਾਲ maharaj ji begins shabd mangla charan with an introductory supplication an introductory prayer in the feet of akalpur kawai guru ji maharaj ji begins ik o ankar the light which shines up countless universes and is pervading through all is one sat gur prasad and that ikko ankar that never ending eternal all illuminating akal purakh is eternal sat and is found through gur prasad the guru's grace maharaj begins the shabad man mela ਸਭ ਕਿਛ ਮੈਲਾ ਤਨ ਧੋਤੈ ਮਨ ਹੱਛਾ ਨਾ ਹੋਏ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਟੋਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਪਿਊਰਿਟੀ ਇਨ ਦ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਹਾਊ ਇਜ਼ ਪਿਊਰਿਟੀ ਅਚੀਵਡ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਸੇਸ ਮਨ ਮੈਲੈ ਵੈਨ ਦ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਇਮਪਿਓਰ ਸਭ ਕਿਛ ਮੈਲਾ ਸਭ ਕਿਛ ਮੀਨਸ ਏਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਸਭ ਏਵਰੀ ਕਿਛ ਥਿੰਗ ਮੈਲਾ ਇਜ਼ ਇਮਪਿਓਰ Now you may ask well why is it if the mind is impure that everything is impure if the mind is impure even outwardly pure actions can be tainted if the mind is impure outwardly we could be doing an action which is considered good but inwardly the mind is doing it in order to plump up the ego or for other gains maharaj is talking about the root here of spirituality it is that inner purity that maharaj is talking about today tan to te just by washing the body man hachha na hoy maharaj says this mind doesn't become hachha it doesn't become cleansed eh jagat bharm bhulaya virla bujjay koe eh jagat this whole world 
And when it's talking about cleansing the body, it's not just talking about bathing. External actions are said in some religions or in some beliefs to be the way of achieving liberation or salvation or whatever you want to call it. Maharaji here is saying it is deeper than just the level of the skin. Not just external actions, there is something else. Even an external action which is pure. Someone donates money, a very pure action. But inside, the reason why they are donating is so that the whole world knows that they are a very charitable person. That external quality, which is good in itself, even that is being used by that person against themselves. If the mind is polluted, everything becomes impure. Just by external actions, which look like they're cleansing the body, which to the world cleanse your outside, they do not cleanse the inside. Maharaji says this whole world is pulaya, is deluded by param, by doubt. The doubt that by making the outside look cleansed, that the inside will be. Maharaj says, no, virla bujay koi. Virla. A very rare person, buja understands this. Sache Pasha Ji Maharaj continues the Shabbat. Japaman meri tu eko naam. Oh my mind, Jap, meditate upon the name of the one of Akal Purukh, the eternal Lord. Satgur diya mokao eho nidhan. This is the treasure that the Satguru, the eternal Guru, has given to me. Diya has given. Moko to me. Rahao, pause and think about this. Maharaji begins talking about inner and outer purity. Then Maharaji now has said, the Guru has given me this treasure. Maharaj carries on in the Shabad Siddha ke asana je sikha indri vasakare kamai. If you were to sikha to learn the asans of the Siddhs, Siddh means those who have perfected something, in this case perfected yoga. Those who have perfected yoga, if you were to learn the 84 main postures, indri vasakare kamai. Indri means organs and if you were to externally keep your organs under control thus whilst doing these what does that mean externally trying to control your organs and an example of this may be when the mouse sees the cat coming and the mouse closes the eyes and thinks the cat can't see it. It's a very everyday example. But by simply outwardly restraining your organs, it doesn't mean that the thing which is encouraging you to go onto the wrong path it doesn't mean that that has been conquered. It just means that externally you have stopped the organ. Stopping the eyes from looking in a bad direction is one thing, but the root of the cause of the problem, that is not solved by doing this. That is just a temporary measure. Maharaji says, Maniki melna utre. The filth within the mind is not removed in this way. Homme melna jai. In fact, you get homme, you get ego, that I am the best at doing these external positions. Melna jai, it doesn't go. Then you ask the Guru, Maharaj, you've talked about meditating upon the Naam, you've talked about getting the treasury from the eternal Guru. How do we do this? There is no other Sanjam discipline for this mind. There is no other way of controlling it without entering into the protection of the eternal Guru. You cannot do this without the Guru. That is why Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj's first Ang 
in the Mool Mantra is included Gaur Prasad. And at the beginning of every rag, there is Gaur Prasad, again and again and again. From Ikko Ankar to Atharah Dasbis. Without entering into the protection of the Guru, there is no way of this mind being purified. Sat Guru Milaya. What happens when we meet the Eternal Guru? Ulti Pei. This mind, which was running after the world, it gets flipped and turned on the other other side. Instead of being focused on the outside, it gets focused on the inside. Instead of focusing on sansar, it focuses on nirankar. Instead of focusing upon the material, it focuses upon the spiritual. Kahana kishuna day. Maharaji says that this cannot be described in words. Nothing can be said about this. That state is so glorious, it is beyond words. Maharaji says, Panat Nanak, Satguru Nanak Devji Maharaj. In their third form, Guru Amar Ji says, Satguru ko milado mara. Meeting with the eternal Guru, those who die. Now, this death isn't physical. This death is spiritual. Giving yourself up completely. Murda hoi murid na galli ho. Pai Gurdas Ji talks about it, that a disciple is someone who is dead. Not physically. But dies before the Guru. Gives up everything to the Guru. Then those blessed people, those blessed few koe, they live eternally through the Guru's Shabbat, the Guru's words and the Guru's command. That is what gives them life. Instead of following their mind, they follow the Guru's command. This is the way of taking away the filth of attachment. This is the way of purifying the mind. Shri Guru Amar Das Maharaj Satya Pasha Ji in this Shabbat says, this battle against the mind can only be won by entering into the sanctuary of the true Guru. Panat Nanak Sat Guru Kao Mil Do Mara Guru Ka Sabd Fir Jeeva Koe Mamata Ki Mal Uttara Iho Man Hacha Hoe Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa Vaheguru Ji Ki Fadu